Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man, and today we're working on school buses. So here in a second, we'll get started on that. I should say that this is a uh, probably about a 2013 International, and so what we're going to do is going to cover several years in there. They were made this way, so the mid, the uh, you know 2000 maybe six on up till today i think they might still be made this way but anyway we'll get showing you all this here in a second all right so people have asked for school bus videos and i'm not going to show you just everything working on school buses but i can show you this because there is no video on the internet to show this, as far as I found. I had a driver complain that this knob broke off. And what I've just done is cheap metal sheared off down in there. So to get at this, basically, we need to take our switch panel out, and then we can work through there. We don't have to take this whole assembly out it's held on with two screws and then all three of those would come out of there but we're going to try to just get to the broken one so the first thing is taking our screws out and being able to move this out of our way just enough where we can reach under there and then i'll show you what we do from there okay so that's loose so we're going to take this loose here of course, if you had to service it and it wasn't totally broken, you had to pull the knob off first. But we're going to go with this. And this should be able to make it where we can drop the part we need down. And I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Because I have one I robbed out of a different bus. Supply chain issues have made it where we have had trouble getting this. So this is the assembly that your cable attaches to to move the blend doors and so i had to take this off a spare bus and you might say why well, rob it off another bus to put it on this one well this is the lift bus so there's not any i mean we've got one spare for this one so we need to have it going so basically we will just feed this out see if i can get my fat paw through here And there we have it, pulled out of there. Now to release our cable, we need to have a third hand, I suppose. But there is a little tab here you can compress and then pull the cable out while you're doing it. And I should have got a flathead screwdriver, but I didn't. Come on, buddy. There we go. So now it's just a matter of fishing and normally I would suggest making sure that the uh, cable is not stuck before doing this but you know what are you gonna do we'll try it Let's see oh yeah so it was just a failure of the uh, quality of the metal. So we should be able to pop this right back in now. This is actually slightly more difficult on this lift bus because it's got so many extra uh, wires running through here that you can't really get your panel folded much out of your way. But I have got it back the way it needs to go and it works so she should be able to control everything now i think we're in good shape here so we'll go ahead and button this back up and then uh, this one should be back in business well here you can see what that assembly looks like uh, that we worked on on the other one it bolts up under here and all your cables go down through there if you've never seen one of these with the side dash removed or whatever you want to call that plastic piece 
uh, if you ever have to take that off most of the screws are down in the side pocket down in there and I think there's one that's up there and there might be one somewhere else I can't remember but anyway that's what you got to do to get to this yeah, this one's got to be more involved in a repair on it so I'm gonna hopefully we can track down a new one of those and I'll put it back in this one otherwise I'll just put in the one we that's broken so that this is at least drivable and we'll just have to worry about temperature control you know I think I took it off of the one there's three choices and I think I took it off of the one that I thought would be the least uh, unhandy to have and I gotta look and see what that is I don't even remember here oh yeah recirculating or fresh air so I think you could do without that uh, just live with it what it is it is until this comes but anyway a lot of wires in there but less than that other bus because the bus with the lift has air conditioning so it has about twice as many switches but anyway hopefully that one's fixed and we don't have to worry about that again for a while hopefully we can get this one fixed and it'll be back on the road soon so this is kind of a stray topic from my usual videos but if you liked it give it a thumbs up that'll help the channel out leave a comment and uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one